something. Oh, hi. You guys asked me what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna show you. This is everything that I eat in a day when I'm training for another life. Happy, don't eat that. Welcome to the episode. So I am training to get ready for the second season of Another Life for the second time. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I went into quarantine and just sort of like, you know, was managing my mental health and not really too concerned about the things that I was eating. And I went right back to my normal weight. So now I am going back to work and we have a start date and mama needs to lose the pounds that she's put on. So back to square one. In this episode, you're going to see me restrict my calories. It's all about calorie counting. I don't know normally count calories, you guys. I'm not a big fan of it. I like to just sort of intuitively eat when I'm hungry and everything within reason. I don't really eat that unhealthy, so I'm not too concerned with it, to be honest. I can usually tell how I'm doing with my diet based on how my clothes feel, based on how my face looks, and the energy that I have. But for this reason of another life, I'm going to show you what my cutting restrictive calorie count looks like. Sorry, Nellie Bean just jumped in front of the camera. <laughs> These are the things that Nellie Bean and I both actually benefit from. We don't eat dairy. Dairy doesn't do our tummies very much justice. We don't eat sugar because sugar is not very good for me and it's also not very good for the tub tubs. We don't drink a lot of alcohol when we're trying to cut weight because alcohol should be consumed in moderation for me, not for Nelly Bean. And I actually don't eat gluten. I try not to eat gluten. I don't watch it really in my sauces and things, but as far as my food is concerned, I try not to eat gluten, which actually just helps me really avoid processed foods. I find that gluten actually upsets my stomach and I just feel better when I don't eat it. And therefore I also exclude that from my diet. Otherwise, I just think that food should be fun and you should enjoy it and you should experiment with it. I do not count the calories of vegetables when I'm totaling up my calories throughout the day because I think that we should be encouraged to eat more vegetables. And so why worry about an extra 30 to 100 calories of vegetables? I don't think that it's appropriate to restrict our vegetables, even the starchy ones because they're good for you. And even Nellie Bean eats veggies, you guys. She loves green beans and apples and avocados, not onions. Dogs are allergic to onions and grapes. What's your favorite vegetable? Carrots. She also likes red peppers, which are my favorite as well. What else do you like? Cucumber? Me too. Zucchini? Oh, zucchini. That's her favorite. So my calorie goal when I'm trying to lose weight is between 1500 and 1800 calories, give or take. I try really hard not to go below 1500 and I try really hard not to go over 2000. That's pretty much where I'm at, in between there. All right guys, so the first thing that I do in the morning, every morning is come down and have coffee. I fast typically until 12 o'clock. I started doing this originally because I actually took my thyroid meds in the morning um, and I like to have a window of two hours on either side just for maximum absorption. So that's what got me in this habit. And then I realized that it just became this new trendy thing called intermittent fasting. <laughs> and I was like unintentionally doing it. But if I do get hungry in the morning and want some calories, I don't like to have a full stomach. What I do is I put nut pods in my coffee. I usually put about 50 to 100 calories of it in my coffee. I microwave it and then I actually blend it up with this thing. This is a travel one. You can tell how much I like my travel one. But it's a blender. And what I like about it is that it actually sort of turns my nut pods into like a foamy latte almost. It's a way to sort of trick myself in the morning um, to think that I'm actually having a latte from like an actual coffee store which is great. I usually have about two of these in the morning. Sometimes I'll sprinkle cinnamon on top of it too. I'll do that this morning. I'll show you guys. Cinnamon is really, really good for you. I'll actually read off all the health benefits. Cinnamon is loaded with antioxidants. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It may cut your risk of heart disease. It can improve sensitivity to the hormone insulin, which helps with metabolism. And it actually lowers blood sugar levels and has a powerful anti-diabetic effect. There's so many more things that, that people claim that cinnamon does as well. Again, this is all amazing and I choose to believe it. And so I add cinnamon to my coffee. We may have to cut this out, but I believe that it. Um, one of the things that 
Cinnamon helps with inflammation and it helps regulate your like your blood and all of that stuff. So it's actually really good for you. I love it when I'm actually right. Because sometimes I'll say things and then research it and be like, <laughs> I don't know where I actually heard that because it's not true. This is true. Yay. I do that and I'm good to go. That's my coffee and this is my breakfast. So I just finished my workout with Steve. I've been working out with him over Zoom. I went to go get a latte because I needed eggs for my banana eggs, which are my favorite breakfast. I know what you guys are thinking. More coffee. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm aware. But almond milk, no sugar. It sort of tastes like chalk, but it's a compromise I have to make. Yes, it's a compromise. I say a compromise I have to make because I do not digest dairy well. I used to, and then I didn't, and then I used to again, and then I didn't. So my body sort of goes like this. It, maybe it's hormonal. Anyway, dairy's a no-go for me. Almond milk is between 40 and 80 calories, so let's go with 80. Let's just call it 160 calories. So I'm gonna show you my first meal of the day. This is banana eggs. I got the idea from Michelle Smith of the Whole Smiths on Instagram. And I know it sounds crazy, but once you try it, I promise you, you'll never look back. <laughs> you'll have banana eggs every day. So a couple eggs. I'm not the best at cracking eggs. <gasps> ah, damn it. An overripe banana is the best. You don't want it to be mushy. You just want it to be like soft because what you're gonna do is you're actually just gonna put it in your eggs. You don't wanna mash them up. Like you wouldn't wanna blend this because you lose all the good stuff, which is when the, the banana like caramelizes. It's like a uh, chunky, watery potato <laughs> salad. <laughs> mm. Put a little salt in it because you know, salty and sweet because it is gonna be sweet. I promise you. A little bit of cinnamon. Normally when I'm not cutting, I put butter. So if I was actually at my goal weight right now, I would chunk a like tablespoon of butter in there right now, just cause I like the flavor. Other than that, you want your pan to be really hot. <laughs> so this is not the way Robin likes eggs. If you like your eggs like sunny side up or any of that watery yellow crap, this is gonna be different for you. Katie likes her eggs the way I imagine serial killers like their eggs. It's yeah. disgusting. Dry, I don't like my eggs to be wet. Dry, somewhat burnt sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but like burnt for banana eggs is actually a really good thing. I just like dry eggs. Yeah, you don't like it wet. You don't like a wet runny egg. I don't like a wet runny egg. I hate egg yolk. I love egg yolk. I just don't like it wet. I like cooked egg yolk. My pan's obviously not hot enough. It should have gone. <laughs> For any normal person cooking eggs, you want your pan to not be that hot, just FYI. Yeah, I mean, if we were making you eggs, but we ain't. Um, something else that's really good with this, if you're trying to like, I don't know, up the protein or turn it into like more of a dessert or if you're not worried about your calories or if you're actually trying to consume more calories, I actually will put almond butter on them and wrap them in like a coconut wrap. So that's actually a lot more fat and a lot more protein if those are things that you're concerned with right now and you're trying to actually put weight on. These are a really great way to actually hide more calories easily because you can put a ton of calories in them. So I turned my pan down a tiny bit and I just let it sit there. You just want to let it do its job, which is burn the crap out of it. Look at all that wasted egg. Well, that's not wasted. It'll come off in chunks. It's all crackly. I think that Michelle from the Whole Smiths is probably like, Katie, that is not the way banana eggs <laughs> She is. does not want you as <laughs> she, like, she's like, her sponsor. The, I'm, you're the worst sponsor ever, Katie. I don't know. That's why we're not sponsored by the Whole Smiths. No. See, this is what you want a nonstick pan, you guys, for this, because all those chunks that Robin talked about, they come right off. And you want it to be mixed in with the banana eggs because you'll want it to caramelize. Listen, it takes a while. This is not the interesting part. It's not, sorry and you know they're getting done, in my opinion, because the pan starts to get sticky. <laughs> it's true. It's how you know it's done, when it's sticky. <laughs> what are you saying right now? <laughs> I mean like, <laughs> slightly sexual, but I'm, I'm crying. I'm talking about the eggs, but it's... <laughs> we to get flagged for adult content. And that is the caramelized banana. So good. Mm. So let's talk about calories. 
Banana is approximately 80 to 100 calories. I always round up. So 100, each egg is approximately 70 to 80. What do these ones say? 70, look at me. <laughs> so that's 140 plus 100, 240. There's 240 calories in this. So now we're done. It's really stick to the pan. That's what you want if you're a crazy person like me and as Robin called it, a cereal killer. Cereal killer eggs. Watch the plating technique too. Listen. That, that's all sugar that's left on the pan. Mm -mm. Okay, that is me breakfast. Okay, so we have my two eggs, which is 140, plus my banana, 100 calories, 240, plus my 160 approximate calorie latte. We are at a 400 calorie first meal of the day. What's that lady's name that does all the Insta, or the YouTube? She's a nutritionist, Abby. I watch her stuff. She does all the what I eat in a day. She's a nutritionist or a dietitian, and she actually tells you if it's good or not. She's gonna hate this. And I'm aware, this is not the caloric content of a normal, healthy human being. This is for a goal. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. If I was eating like this for normal, like I said, I would add like oatmeal to it or, you know, some protein powder or something else. But Abby Sharp, be gentle, Abby. I'm disclaiming it. She's not a big fan of, of snuggles. But she would love my banana eggs if I gave it to her. You guys. I love it because it just tastes like a sugary, salty banana. The eggs are literally just like a vehicle for the banana to get in my face. That's what she said. Name your sex tape. <laughs> Water is incredibly important, you guys incredibly important for so many reasons. Sometimes your body doesn't know the difference between being thirsty and being hungry. So water is a good thing. Steve Zim actually pointed that out in my fitness episode, but also we're all wearing masks a lot more now. The importance of drinking water is so important because we've got our mouths covered and we're forgetting to drink. And that is not good for urinary tract problems with ladies. So remember to drink your water, you guys. I may or may not have a UTI right now because I haven't been drinking enough water. Road trip, you guys, there's no bathrooms open all the way from Canada down to California. Nobody would let me use their bathrooms. I'm lucky I was raised by a mom who taught me how to squat. So I don't even know what time it is. We're running around doing stuff and I'm starving. So I have to eat. I think it's like five o'clock. We've got work to do before we do dinner. So I have to <laughs> eat something. I'm freaking dying. So what's great about these beef sticks, I'm not a vegetarian, nor am I a vegan. Obviously, if I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan. So what's great about these is that they have about 110 calories. There's nothing really in them, no additives. No MSG, they're gluten-free, they're made with grass-fed beef, no nitrates, paleo-friendly, blah, blah, freaking blah. And I'm so hungry. <laughs> they make them child proof. <laughs> I'm so hungry, why get it open? God doesn't want me to eat meat. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. My blood sugar is like failing. Um, so yeah, I really recommend this. You guys, Mission Meats, awesome. I've been eating these for years. As soon as I found them, because they're paleo. Mm. Okay, I can work again. You guys, every time we do an episode that has me eating in it, I like talk and eat at the same time. It's not because I don't have table manners. It's because I'm so hyperactive that I can't wait to talk. I actually do realize that you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. I was raised right. I just, you guys are just seeing behind the scenes. <laughs> Sorry. For dinner, I am making a salad, which right now it just has some microgreens in it, 
some arugula, and also broccoli and carrot chopped up. Then I am making my specialty vegan cheesy cauliflower. Okay, so I said before that I am not a vegan and that I am paleo. That doesn't mean that I eat a ton of meat, you guys. I do eat meat for sure and eggs, but my diet is primarily carbohydrates from vegetables and vegetables and fruit. I get so much of my caloric, like, satiety, satiety, whatever, you know, I'm satiation. trying to satiation. What's the word though? Present tense or past tense? See, satiety, anyway, whatever, it's fine. Um, so I know how to eat very much like a vegan because I have a blood disorder called hemochromatosis and my iron level can actually get way too high. And I am lucky enough that I have my period. Couldn't go an episode without talking about it. And so I'm able to keep my iron in check, but there are times when I have to go on a vegan diet and really watch my iron intake of my vegetables as well because they have a lot of iron as well. But what I wanna say is that most of the, the meat that we are eating is grass-fed, it comes from smaller farms, it's if not locally, and we really try to cut down on the amount of mass-produced farmed meat and keep it as locally and as small farming as possible. Better for the environment. Does that sound like a PSA? I'm just tired of the vegans attacking me. And in here, what I have right now is a head of cauliflower. I have three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, which is what makes it taste cheesy. So don't uh, skimp on the nutritional yeast. But so three tablespoons in here. I got some chili pepper, salt, pepper, and garlic, and one tablespoon of oil. I'm kind of hoping that the one tablespoon of oil is enough but the cauliflower really needs to be coated. So I may actually add a tiny bit of water instead of oil to see what that does. So I'm also gonna add some dill because that's like the best part of the cheesy cauliflower that so many people forget. I'm just gonna add quite a bit of dill. I mean, that's a lot of dill. So a lot of dill. I like dill, but I've also used like dry parsley before. And then we're gonna just add even more salt because mama loves salt. Take your rings off. Okay, so this is actually the really fun part, but you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. So wash them, wash, 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 wash. So in here, we've got one tablespoon of oil, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and I like to coat every single one. Make sure that every single one has like a good dollop of like, good stuff on it. Because what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make sure it's all coated, looks really good, and then we're gonna actually melt a tablespoon of grass-fed butter and dump that in here. It really helps it, yeah, I don't know. Butter just makes everything better. So, yay! Calorically speaking, we've got a head of cauliflower, which is not that much, and it's good for you, so if you don't even wanna count veggies, that's fine. But there are carbohydrates and things in cauliflower, so make sure you watch that if that's your thing. Nutritional yeast, which is awesome, you guys. 34 calories for one tablespoon, and like, if I wasn't cutting, I could dump this entire thing in there. This is the secret of vegans everywhere because it makes everything taste like cheese. I do not know why, it just does. And then we've got one tablespoon of avocado oil, which is 130 calories. So right now we've got three, so 30 times three, we got 90 plus eight plus two, 102 calories of nutritional yeast and 130 calories. So we're at like 200 and 30, let's just call it 230 calories for the entire thing right now. That's not a lot, like that's a lot of food. That's 230 calories, that's awesome. And you've got your oils and your fats and, and all that good stuff in there. I have not dressed this yet, but I love filling up on greens. Um, microgreens are really good for you as well. So my trick for this, I'm gonna put my dressing on early because it's, these are, broccoli and cauliflower pieces. It's almost like coleslaw. They can sit in dressing for a long time. So my favorite dressings are Primal Kitchen. They don't sponsor me. I just love Primal Kitchen. It's paleo and there's like no sugar in it. It's soy and canola free, dairy free, paleo friendly, cage free eggs. So really good, love it. Really love that stuff. And I'm gonna show you my favorite little trick. This is like a bodybuilder trick, I guess. Nellie Bean yells at me when she's hungry because she's deaf. Like she's legit 
deaf. I'm not just saying she's deaf. Like she's actually, my pug is deaf, so she screams at me. Because the vibration of her screaming, she can actually feel it, and therefore she knows that she's actually barking. So she she has started barking even louder. So dinner time is quite interesting in our household. <laughs> Two tablespoons of this. It's like, there's nothing different calorically for this, that happy. So no, no, what can I say? So it's 120 calories for this. So 120 calories, you're not gonna, in two tablespoons, you're not gonna cover that salad at all. It's a nightmare. So what we do is I take my two tablespoons, sometimes I'll do a little bit more than that, and then I take either rice vinegar or balsamic vinegar, depending on what you wanna do. I'm gonna do rice today, and you just add it. So what you're doing is you're actually using the dressing as the spice, but you're using the rice vinegar as the coating. See, it's really watery. So um, a lot of bodybuilders will actually, or people that are conscious of their weight and, and cutting for a show, they'll actually, and it might not be enough, but I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. And I could add another two tablespoons to this because Robin's gonna consume some of it. So you guys, our house is a madhouse at dinner time. Okay. Now, our hands are washed. Don't forget to salt your salad. You guys, everyone forgets to salt and pepper their salad. I don't know why. It drives me nuts. They tend to think that uh, salads don't need to be salt and pepper if you put dressing on it, but it only just makes it taste better. Here's my trick. It's the same trick that I use for flour hands. If you want to make sure your dressing is on a piece of salad, then you use your hands. You just like this. My hands are clean. Would I do this if we were having company over? Absolutely not. I would not do this. It's yeah, horrible. Would. Yeah, I would you not. Would. Not like with the salad. I do it with the cauliflower, but not the salad. I do it with the salad because it's you. So what's great about this is that you know that it's coated on every single thing. You can really get the limited amount of dressing to coat the entire thing. So basically, if we're not counting veggies, so veggies are kind of free. So I don't really count vegetables in my caloric content, you guys. Do vegetables have calories? Absolutely. That head of cauliflower has approximately 200 calories. And so legitimately, my cheesy cauliflower has a about 430 calories in it. But because I don't count vegetables in my calorie count, I don't count them. I like to think of vegetables as free because they're so good for you and I encourage everyone to eat more vegetables. I don't think anybody has ever gotten unhealthy by consuming too many vegetables. We've got, what did we say, 200 calories in here and we've got 240 in here. So right now, for this entire dinner, we're only at like 420, 430 calories for the entire dinner. Now we just need to add a protein because this is actually gonna be split. Excuse me, someone else is hungry too. Happy, thank you. Leave the bowl alone. <laughs> Do you want your food? Here. There you go. We gotta watch because now we need. Do you want yours too? Here. There they go. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know where her food is. Yeah, she already ate, but she doesn't remember because she has dementia. So another way that I add calories, because a lot of people are trying to like, you know, you can still eat healthy and add calories to things. I eat a lot of olives. So if my calories are low, Five olives has 20 calories. That's a lot of calories. And it's got some great fat in it too. So two grams of fat, which is really great. So um, fat is your friend, FYI. And then, because I didn't want to cook tonight because we're leaving town tomorrow, I cheated and we're gonna eat some chicken. You guys, sometimes I feel like people make nutrition so much harder than it needs to be. And there are many, many times when you just need to cheat. And for me, getting a roasted chicken at the grocery store is such an easy cheat because it takes two hours to roast a chicken. And sometimes you just need to make a really healthy, quick dinner, you know? So look out for those things and those ways that you can actually make your dinner faster by cheating on a few ingredients that are already prepped. I'm gonna weigh out my chicken on my scale, make sure that I'm within four to six ounces. And once 
two people split this and I have my chicken, which is gonna come in around 250 calories. This is about 450 divided by two, so 225 plus 250, that's a 500 calorie dinner. Lots of protein, lots of really great fat, and a lot of really great veggies. So 500 calorie dinner. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. One of the things that I'm actually getting ready, it's not for tonight's dinner, it's for tomorrow's drive. So we are actually driving to Robin's parents' house tomorrow. And it is like a 10 hour drive. And so I need snacks and I need healthy snacks because I don't want to be dependent on stopping on the side of the road and, you know, gas station food. Although you can get nuts and stuff, but. Snacking is often one of the biggest problems with people when they're trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's why you really have to plan out your snacks. Never get caught without snacks that are healthy because then you're gonna stop and you're gonna go to a fast food restaurant or you're gonna go into a gas station and grab something that's really, really quick. And you may be able to eat as healthy as possible in that place, but if you'd had something prepped already, that could actually be even healthier. So you just really gotta plan out your snacks, guys. Snacks, snacks, snacks. I love these crackers. I'm not sponsored by them. I just adore them. So they're gluten-free and they're vegan and that's what I love about them. But every ingredient you guys on this list, I can read. And that's one of the things when I'm eating processed food that I look for. Like, can I actually pronounce everything on the list? And if I can, then they're great. Like these have nothing but like seeds and sesames and spices. And the only thing on here that's actually, I mean, I don't even know, but it's like organic dehydrated onion. Okay, so they didn't use fresh onion, they used dehydrated onion. That's the only bad thing in this, and it's not even bad. I was just like searching for something. So I'll take those on the road trip, and I also have some protein bars, which I'll take. And we have these really great wraps from the grocery store that we got for tomorrow's drive. You can't really see it, but this is gonna be our snacks for tomorrow. Um, you can sort of see in there, but it's just a bunch of really great veggies and avocado and some cabbage in there and some carrots, cucumber, lettuce wrapped in rice paper. It's got a little peanut sauce, but I won't eat that. So this is what I'm doing while I'm waiting for dinner to cook. Veggies for the trip, cut up, ready to go. So one of the other things that I really love is Synergy Kombucha. It's really great. I fell in love with this when it was allowed on the Whole30. And I tried to cut down the calories of it and also the sweetness. So I do half and half with this in LaCroix. And that takes me to 25 calories. And then I add my LaCroix to it. And I do this when I'm not drinking. Because when I am drinking, I just drink a lot of wine at night. When I'm not drinking, I drink a lot of kombucha. <laughs> Bottoms up. She's awful, you guys, she's awful. Yeah, yes, yeah. Good thing, Mom. You okay, you can drop it? You got it? Okay. Okay, so the cauliflower is ready. This is what it looks like. It's really good, you guys. Normally, I would put a lot more butter and a lot more uh, nutritional yeast on this, so it would be really coated, but I don't have the luxury of that right now because it's extra calories that don't really serve a purpose. It's just extra fat and extra calories, which I don't need right now. So we're heating up the chicken. And once that's heated, I'll let this cool down and then we're ready. And I actually think that I'm gonna put, I've got these beautiful strawberries that need to be used. So I'm actually gonna put these on our salad. I'm gonna cut them up and I'm just gonna put the slices on the salad. It's really good. We gotta use the fruit, so we might as well. Hey guys, so here is my dinner. This is what it looks like finished. It's a lot of food. So it's six ounces of chicken, about a cup of that cauliflower, cup and a half, and some of that salad with strawberries on it. The total for my dinner is 630 calories, which puts me right now at approximately 1200 calories for the day. But this is my dinner. So it's the end of the night and I have a couple hundred calories left and I don't like to leave any of them left. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat 100 calories of prunes and 100 calories of blueberries. And that's gonna round out my night. 
and put me, give or take, within 1,500 calories. And yeah. Why do you eat the prunes? I eat the prunes so I go to the bathroom. I eat four of them every single night. When I was younger, I never remember having problems going to the bathroom. Like I feel like I always went. And then when I was on Battlestar, I started realizing that I like wasn't going to the bathroom at all. And so I started taking like this daily laxative and I realized that it was so bad for me. And I think I took it for six or seven years. Four prunes a night, got rid of it. What, what? Thanks prunes. Kind of stuff the fans really wanted to know. I know, we should beep it out. Put the poop emoji in front of my mouth. Be like, mute now if you don't wanna hear people talk about real shit. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, night. I'm making my berries. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful. So many of you have asked for that. Keep in mind, that is what I eat when I'm trying to get in shape for another life, which is a very specific body. If you haven't watched that episode, make sure to do that now. And also, normally I don't count calories. I don't count them at all. I just eat as healthy as I did in this episode. I just maybe eat some more and I add a lot of carbohydrates in too. So just keep that in mind and remember that Healthy takes planning and to plan out your snacks, but to keep it fun. Always keep food fun because then you'll stick to it. Have a good one. Make sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram for updates over here when new episodes will be out. And again, we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>